With the step motor, we saw how switching currents in the outer portion of the motor could be used to turn a magnet in the center. In the brush motor, the position of the motor coils and magnets have been switched so that the coils are on the inside and the magnets are on the outside. We will look at a method of controlling current through coils that are mounted to the rotor, obtaining rotation similar to that of a step motor. We have said that we could allow either the coil or the magnet to rotate. Placing the coils on the rotor presents the problem of getting the current into the coil. This can be accomplished by means of slip rings. A slip ring is a simple metal cylinder with a graphite or carbon brush, which makes the electrical contact. This motor is more complex than the one with a rotating magnet and doesn't really offer any advantages. However, if we could automatically reverse the current in the coil when the two fields align, the rotor would continue to turn in the same direction and would end up spinning continuously. This is the principle of the DC brush motor. Instead of two slip rings, the DC brush motor has a single ring split into two segments connected to the coils. Both brushes rest on the same ring. This will cause the current in the coil to reverse direction each time the brushes cross the gap between the segments. The action of reversing the current each time the coil rotates is called commutation, and the segmented ring is called a commutator. This simple motor, with its single coil, produces maximum torque when the two magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other, and zero torque when the current is about to reverse. In fact, the torque characteristic follows a sine curve. This means that there is a large torque variation as the motor rotates, and it relies on momentum to carry it past the commutation point. We can improve the situation by adding more coils and more segments to the commutator. Just one extra coil will eliminate the zero torque points, and additional coils will further reduce the torque ripple. Each coil is connected to the commutator so that current flows through all of them and each one contributes to the torque. In this way, the torque ripple can be made extremely small and the motor will rotate very smoothly.